about the morning haze gown there. It's, uh, been experimenting with a few ways of uh, trying to stop that um, groan or growling sound um, at the XA4, XA3 motors that are, are famous for. And I've basically put it down to either a poorly made or poorly, it's, um, it's a worn. Uh, um, then you notice that the axle there is made of steel and the, the um, housing of the, the bearing is, is brass. So over the years I would suspect that the, the steel racks that's been wearing just, you know, just a little bit of the, um, the brass bush. Um, away. So, so, just to, to experiment on whether this is the fact, I've just been putting a bit of pressure down with a bit of a, a toothpick, and you'll find that that rattling basically almost, well, I should stop it, but basically is negated or all disappears. So, one way that you can try and remedy it is um, have here on my stick here a very small blob of lithium, white lithium grease. And I find it actually runs, works better if you run it hot. Run it in hot, just hold the um, stick down onto the where the um, the axle of the uh, meets the, the housing and just just let it run in there. And you'll hear that a fair bit of that rattling dissipates and you get a very Quiet sounding XA3 slash XA4 motor. Now you just, as you can see, there's a bit of excess there. I, I wouldn't leave that there. That'll just attract it. I'll wipe that off before I um, put the body back over. But um, yeah, you don't need much grease, but just feed it in hot. It seems to penetrate better than just blobbing it on cold and then trying to run it in. I think it finds a, a little bit of pressure from the stick forcing it into the joint, the union. Uh, it really helps. It, uh, it runs in a bit hotter and penetrates. I'll we'll just turn that up and we'll run it a bit faster. And you can still hear it a little bit there but it's a lot better than what it was at the lower speed anyway. Might get rid of that really uh, the, the growling sound which these motors are known for which is kind of detracts from the, the model a bit makes them sound like a toy which uh, you know I know trains are uh, you know from another era another day but still they were um, they were top of the pops there for a while so anyway I hope this, uh, someone finds this interesting, or at least um, tries to employ it. The same can be said about the bearing down there at the other end. Um, I mean, you could probably do it both at the same time, but it doesn't sound like it's worn on this one down there at all. So I'm not going to touch it. It's um, every time you stick something, another lubricant into a motor, it's just a another attractant for dirt and, and dust, so I'm stick with the usual lubricant for that one for, for the time being. It seems to be that the back bearing was the problem on this occasion. Anyway, who really hope you uh, find this uh, helpful.